Hola muchachos, ¿qué tal? Buenos días, aquí tienen el horario para hoy, lunes, el 19 de septiembre. Uh, no homework was due for today, although some of you still need to turn in your presentación escrita oral. If you take a look at the agenda from last week, you'll see that that was an assignment. Some of you still need to turn that in. A reminder that I do accept late work, but it is 10% deducted every day that it is late, so you'll certainly want to do that. The sooner the better. You do have homework for Wednesday for next class, and that is the guided workbook pages 27 and 28, which we'll go over together in just a moment. Daily objective for today to continue to talking about school life and activities, and in doing so, practicing listening comprehension and recognition of present tense stem changing verb conjugations. And we're using the verb dormir, the verb to sleep, in your warm up question for today. ¿Cuántas horas duermes? Cada noche. How many hours do you sleep each night? We'll go over the notes from last class about stem changing verbs on page 27 of the textbook. Watch a video tutorial on stem changing verbs. Do a guided practice activity exercise 14 out of page 27 of the textbook, and then I'll go ahead and assign you your homework and then give back to you your pop quiz results from last class. So let's take a look at the warm-up question again for today. ¿Cuántas horas duermes cada noche? Again, is asking you how many hours of sleep do you get each night? Indicate how many hours of sleep you get each night on average by, con by conjugating, rather, the verb dormir in the yo form. So to take a look at my example here, you can see there at the bottom of your screen, durante la semana, yo duermo Siete horas cada noche. During the week, I sleep. Duermo is the yo form of the verb dormir. And you can see how it's a stem-changing verb where the o in the stem changes to ue when I conjugate it in the present tense. And then my present tense ending is still going to be o in the yo form. Durante la semana, yo duermo siete horas Cara noche. And then you're going to ask that question, ¿Cuántas horas duermes cada noche? to three classmates and then annotate their responses, how many hours of sleep they get each night, but you're going to do so in the el, ella form. So for example, durante la semana, Caden duerme. Again, O changing to UE. And then since you're talking about a friend or a classmate, um, the ending is going to be E for IR verbs in the L, E, A, Usted form. Duerme. Caden duerme ocho y media horas cada noche. That was your warm up question for today. Take a look at page 27 stem changing verbs in the present tense. Have a stem change as we talked about in all forms except. For the nosotros form, and depending upon the type of stem change it is, uh, will determine you know what letters you need to replace it with the stem. So stem again is the part of the infinitive that's left over when you drop the ending, essentially the beginning of the word. Stem changing verbs have a spelling change in their stem in every form except for the nosotros form. So that's what we went over last class. You can see these different types of Stem changing verbs, poder, the O changing to UE, empezar, the middle E, changing to IE, and pedir, the E changing to an I, in all forms as you can see, except the nosotros form. You can see some other stem changing verbs there, the types of changes that they take on. And if you're not sure what these verbs mean, you can go to page 40 of the textbook. Page 40 has a glossary of all the key terms from Chapter 1A. All right, back to page 27. Let's do the guided practice. Go through the first few examples there. And then we'll take a look at your homework. Mi clase favorita. Completa las frases con la forma correcta del, del verbo apropiado. So there's two things we need to do for this exercise. The first of which is to pick the verb that makes the most sense. And again, you can go to page 40 if you're trying to figure out 
what the verbs mean, and then once you've chosen the verb that you think makes sense, conjugate it according to the subject. Let's take a look at numbers one and two together. Es increíble, pero mi clase favorita blank a las siete y media de la mañana. It's incredible, but my favorite class begins, which is the verb empezar, or my favorite class understands, which is the verb entender. I think we would agree that empezar makes better sense here, especially because we're talking about time. A las siete y media de la mañana. It would make sense to use the verb begin since we're referring to time. So the verb for number one is empezar. How would empezar conjugate? Well, we need to figure out the subject. What begins at 7.30? It's my favorite class that begins at 7.30. And so we're going to take a look at our chart here. Empezar is right here. We can see how the E changes to IE. And since we're talking about my favorite class, which form are we going to use? We're going to use the LA form because we're talking about it, right? It being my favorite class, that's el, ella. El and ella mean he or she. They could also mean it if we're talking about an inanimate object, something rather than someone. So the correct answer for number one, empieza. It begins. Es increíble, pero mi clase favorita empieza a las siete y media de la mañana. Número dos, el profesor, el señor Díaz. Es muy simpático. Y el blank, que todos tenemos mucho sueño en la mañana. You remember simpático from Spanish one. Simpático is literally sympathetic or kind. Tener mucho sueño is to be very tired. Tener sueño, to be tired. And we're talking about the morning. So Mr. Diaz is very kind. He blanks that we, right, we are very tired in the morning. So is that the verb pedir, to ask for, or entender, to understand? Mr. Diaz asks or he understands that we are all tired in the morning. If he's really nice, probably entender would make the most sense. And again, those clues are simpático. In tener mucho sueño. We're using clues to pick the verb that makes the most sense. So number two is entender. We're going to go to our chart here and we see that entender, the middle E, changes to IE when we conjugate it. And if we're talking about Senor Diaz, I'm just going to go to the verb poder because even though it's a different verb, it's an ER verb, right? So it's going to share the same endings as entender. So I'm just trying to figure out, I'm just barring these endings to figure out what form we should use. And if we're talking about El Profesor Diaz, that's our subject, then we're going to use the El Ella form. So that's my ending, right, for ER verbs. Go back down to entender, put that ending, and then also make sure to change the stem. And in doing so, we get the correct answer. Entiende. E N T I E N D E. And the E ending again is for E R verbs in the L A F form, talking about Mr. Diaz. El profesor, el señor Diaz, es muy simpático y él entiende que todos tenemos mucho sueño en la mañana. All right, so that's exercise 14. Go ahead and knock out 3 through 8. Again, any of these verbs you're not sure about, you can go to page 40 uh, to find out their meaning. Your homework for next class is the guided workbook pages 27 and 28. Uh, you can do this in your notebook and take a picture. You can annotate the attachment, or you can type it into the text box in Canvas. Uh, going over the notes that we just went over on stem changing verbs, you get some additional reference material there if you want a bit of a tutorial. And workbook pages 27 and 28, let's take a look. So this is just reviewing the notes that we just went over together on page 27. Stem changing verbs have a spelling change in their stem and they do that 
in every form except for the nosotros form. They give the verb dormir, which is the verb to sleep, as an example. This is the verb you used for your, for your warm-up earlier today. And then there again, they summarize the different types of stem changes, spelling changes there for or a variety of verbs. And those are all on page 40 of the textbook. So for part A, you are going to draw an arrow between the letter in the stem and how it changes when conjugated. For example, the E changes to IE. The O in poder changes to UE. The E in pedir changes to I. And the E in servir also changes to I. That information is provided here and then also in the chart on page 27 that we were looking at right here. Part B asks you to fill in the blank with the um, the stem change, the letters of the stem change. And the tricky part for part B is that it may be difficult to figure out what verb is being used. Now here we know the verb almorzar is being used because we're talking about having lunch in the cafeteria. Here in number one, we know the verb jugar is being used because we're talking about playing football, right? So you can kind of tell based on the context what verb is being used. Servir in number two because we're talking about uh, a waiter, camarero, serving food. Number three is the verb pedir to serve coffee. Number four is the verb empezar, a class to begin at 4.30. Number five is the verb costar, which is the verb to cost. It's on page 27, I believe. And then finally, number six is the verb repetir, talking about the teacher or the students repeating what the professor said. For part C, you're practicing the, the key part where stem changing verbs have a stem change in every form except the nosotros form. So if all these answers are going to be in the nosotros form, and you're taking note of the fact that stem changing verbs don't change their stem in the nosotros form. For example, Claudia empieza a hablar. That's the verb empezar, the verb to begin, right? Impiesa, Claudia Impiesa. We have a stem change in the Alea form, but not in the Nosotros form. Nosotros no empezamos a hablar. And there you can see the verbs provided. For one through four, tu juegas al fútbol. This is the verb jugar for number one. Nosotros no jugamos. J U G A M no S. No stem change for the verb jugar in the nosotros form. Part D is very similar to what we did for exercise 14 where you're having to do two things. Pick the verb that makes the most sense according to the subject and then conjugate it according to the subject itself. Uh, so for example, es el mediodía y tú tienes hambre. It's noon and you're hungry. What do you do? Yo almuerzo in la cafeteria, I have lunch. Almorzar makes sense here. Talking about it being noon, being hungry, and then eating in the cafeteria. Number one, son los diez de la noche y nosotras estamos cansados. ¿Qué hacemos? Nosotras, if it's 10 o'clock at night and we're hella tired, we would do the verb dormir, right? Dormir is to sleep. Querer is to want. It's in the nosotros form, so we're not going to change the stem of dormir. So we leave the stem intact, and then the IR, excuse me, the nosotros ending of IR verbs, we can just go to the verb pedir because it's also an IR verb. Let me see the answer. Perdimo, imos is the ending. So we're going to use that ending for number one. Number one would be nosotras dormimos. And that's what you're going to do for Part D. That is your homework for next class, Guided Workbook pages 27 and 28. And again, if you have not submitted your presentación orada escrita, please do so 
ASAP. Ciao.